To be honest, the people that we work with, climate change is not high on their personal agenda of issues. They've got more pressing problems, you know, where are they going to get food from next week? Gareth Thomas, founding director of Bike Space based in Plymouth. We didn't found Bike Space primarily to combat climate change. I founded Bike Space to help people. And for me, it was a way to work with young people excluded from school, give them a practical experience and help them on with the next stage of their lives. There's quite a big assumption when you're working with bicycles and sustainable transport that your primary goal is solving the issues around climate change. But for me, that's actually not the case at all, although the two things do go hand in hand. The, the kind of people we're working with from economically challenged backgrounds, climate change is not high on their agenda. They've got other problems. They've got to find, you know, where's the, ne where's the next meal coming from? How are they going to get school uniform? These kind of day-to-day -day problems. And we don't just teach them bike mechanics. We help them learn to be in the workplace. We, you know, just things like making a cup of tea for their colleagues and peers, answering the phone, helping customers unload bikes from cars, all those kinds of transferable skills. But over the years, we've grown to encompass people from all sorts of different groups and walks of life. We do a lot of work with Devon and Cornwall refugee support. We provide lots of bikes for, for their um, beneficiaries and we get those guys in learning bike mechanics themselves so they can fix each other's bikes. We had the Illuminate Festival of Light in Plymouth and we loaned some kits and bikes and they were used for us, it was, it was a great opportunity for us to get involved in this more creative angle. The bikes were used to be pedalled and power the lights, the electricity being generated by the bikes and it just shows the power of the bike, you know, to be used for all sorts of different things in life. So at the start of the pandemic, it was a, a, a scary time for us, you know, we believed that we were all going to be, you know, not at work the following day and we were going to have this period of, of really fear for the project and fear for the business side of it. But we were the first training provider to get young people back onto site and we've seen you know, more food banks springing up, we've seen people struggling, we've seen poverty, we've seen you know, th things are really hard for people. But I think what it's made me think is perhaps the reason we've prospered through the pandemic is because we were doing something right and fair in the first place. I think public opinion would suggest that you've got to make this choice. It's either save the planet, climate change, or it's economic growth, economic powerhouses. But actually, perhaps the two things can go hand in hand. So what we're doing here, we're creating jobs for people, we're helping people, we've got a profitable organisation, we've got a profitable commercial arm to our organisation. So we're demonstrating here that you can do things sustainably and fairly, but you can also make a profit from a business perspective and you can, you can grow what you're doing.